Winner was on the Grand Finals. For that, uh, Curtis Simonoa is playing Vanessa on the left, and James Howard is playing Wolf on the right. Curtis loves pretty girls, and James Howard loves idiotic wrestlers, so it's a match made in heaven. It's, there's a reason these two love this game. Oh, it's regrettable that I couldn't play it, but I got here late. Yeah. I would have liked to join it. How many engines did we get? I don't know. It's been pretty hectic, so... Well, more than Persona, I heard. Oh, oh wow. Well, at least Persona got more in Skullgirls, so... Well, got some achievement, to be sure. Oh, it gets a dropkick. <laughs> James Howard is supposedly the favorite, but Curtis is probably the, the one closest to pulling an upset. Well, James Howard is the reigning champion from Fight for the Future. Are you going to guess it? Got it. Typically, Virtua Fighter runs fast, but Curtis is capable of running it back, so this could go on for a while. We'll have to see. Unfortunately, it's much more difficult, in case you haven't noticed, to commentate 3D fighters, yeah. because there's a lot of, like, back 1, 2, 1, 4, 4, A, down, down, kick, G, and I'm not going to do that. So. Because, oh, okay. So we just shoulder charges him. His back was and runs the, away for exercise. He's around the edge of the screen though, so that was kind of dangerous. I thought it left me. I'm not really capable of commentating this on myself, but <laughs> Curtis takes that round. He gets his dagger and like takes him to the ground. I love his heavier damaging throws. I wish this console had like the commentators that was in the arcade version, so I didn't have to do my work. Hits it with a low and gets the frame trap into a mid. <laughs> Just tackled him at the start. I think uh, that's the second time it's worked for him so far. Uh, oh, he sidesteps that. He didn't really get a big punish, but he kicks him twice while he's down. He's getting really delayed, like get ups off of these knockdowns. Oh, that's it. Burning havoc. Is this wolf costume supposed to be a reference to something? I don't get it. Unfortunately. I changed the stage. This is the small stage, I'm pretty sure. I don't know who this is. I'm pretty sure it favors Curtis. I've seen him have pretty deadly corner combos with Vanessa. He moves back to the wall. James managed to eat that one out. Oh, gets a run up grab. I have a feeling that he's gonna. <laughs> Oh, well, he throws him out of the corner. I was just I was going to say that a feeling like he's going to try for the wall grab. Seeing as that's his favorite move, but he just runs through him that round. I think he went for a grab there and he ducked it. Curtis, Curtis keeps ducking these highs. He's waiting his poke for. Okay, he shoves him from the background and gets a full combo for it. Oh, but he throws him, Curtis throws him in the corner and gets the defend wall combo. Takes the round. Oh, oh we blocked the double, the drop kick low, but it didn't get the punish. Knocks him down, gets a small combo. Throws him out of the corner, but... Wow, really? Just run up drop kick? This is gonna hurt. 
Final round. Go! Yes, the grab. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my own. Okay, gets us down stagger. I thought he was gonna do for a tick grab, but oh, there's a tick grab. Jay takes that round. I think he's two rounds up. Pretty sure. Hmm. Down attack didn't catch the roll, and now he gets thrown in the corner. That was kind of tricky. It looked like. He just kind of missed that attack and got a grab instead. Wow, three big damage throws gives James the lead. He put himself in the corner. Gets the quick high. I think Curtis go for that move a couple times now at the very start. I think if James blocked it, he could get a punish, but. At least a punch grab. Yeah. Oh, he blocked the knee. Didn't get that punish. I think was relying a lot on his throws to um, get these punishes. Well, a lot of his damage is coming from those last few rounds. And right there, he picked him off the ground to continue his combo. Get a big damage. It's that run of grab. Go. All right. Well, game point for James Howard. Staggers him again, but doesn't capitalize on it. Spinning back fist knocks him down. Looks to high on Oki. I think that's it. Yep. Alright, congrats to JHH. Clipton 3 0. That sure was. <laughs> oh, hello, Maddie. Hello. Maybe Maybe I can make it. <laughs> I just had to commentate on Virtua Fighter. Absolutely. Well, then we're even because I was commentating on P4 Arena and had yeah, no I, idea. Yeah, actually, I saw you doing that. I was like, wow, I better make my way over there. <laughs> but I think Brandon had you covered, so. Yeah. Well, we're glad to have you, so I'll cover the more technical sides, and you can just be like, wow, yeah, well, he hit him really hard. I was trying to get technical there. I don't know. I was thinking, wow, he didn't punch that. I was like, <laughs> in the back of my mind, maybe that wasn't punishable. Maybe the entire strat is calling me an idiot. Well, but you did. Technically, he did not punish it then, so you were correct. Yeah. Well, I sure hope so. All right, Jason, interestingly, coming out from the loose bracket with his Sarah overcoming Jules's Go in the semifinals. Yeah. And Curtis is Vanessa, previously undefeated until just now. Yeah, Jason versus Jules had a big crowd. I big, don't doubt it. It was an upset after all. Mm hmm. But anyway. Good double kicks there. 
Vanessa's real strength with that kick and with a bunch of other moves is she's able to create side turn situations really well, so then she can pressure with jabs and strings and possibly throws, making it very difficult to face her head on. Rising kick. Well, back when I played him, Jason was relying a lot on his somersault kick, mm -hmm. just for the fun of it. I don't know if he's evolved beyond that yet. <laughs> well, it's never completely out of a Sarah's game. Well, true. Sometimes you just think, screw it, I'm going to flip kick. Yeah. But he's two, down, two rounds down now, and I wonder if he's going to get a little desperate. Mm -hmm. Well, you can see there, Cur what he, he primarily tries to do is establish his flamingo game. Which yeah. is very difficult to do right up close against Vanessa, particularly if she's in offensive style, because she can just keep raining small hits upon him. Yeah, I know she has that two-piece Sabaki in there, but I, was, I haven't seen Curtis go for it yet. Oh, wow, Curtis takes it. Mm -hmm. If you don't sidestep that flying punch, you get a lot of advantage on there, you can see. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, Stefan, track him down. Oh, is it David's? Well, then take it. <laughs> so generous. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're a nice guy. Absolutely. So round two goes on to here. And I like this stage because it alternates. So if you get a ring out in one round, you don't have to worry about the next one because the cage comes up. That's nice of them. Mm -hmm. I think they should use that in more 3D fighters. Neat. There you can see there the side turn was yeah. a real dangerous situation. There's the low into the hit throw. Yeah, I've gotten hit by that a mm -hmm. lot. The thing you do need to watch out for with Jason's play is he is very, very linear with his moves. So Curtis, who's been getting increasingly better at sidestepping when I've been playing against him, really should be looking for that. I know if he does one dashing kick there that you've seen from Sarah, he will do three or four in a row. Yeah, I know that Jason says that sidestepping is the way to go to avoid a lot of her mm -hmm. stance stuff. Ooh, think, caught oh. him with the running knee. Oh, but okay. There's the second one. Yeah, that delayed second, <laughs> he really gets me. I know. Well, there he is. Takes the okay. round after pushing him into the wall and just dominating him from there. Yeah, really of course. Advantage of now there are no walls. Getting him in the corner. <laughs> well, if he still gets him in the, if he gets him into a wall, it'll be <laughs> even better situation. Yeah. So it's just big. faster. Oh. Oh, there's the crush. Oh, gets a stagger. Yeah, staggers him with that. Tries for the side steps. Whoa, martial arts simulator. <laughs> How realistic. Yes, very dramatic. You can see there he's angling for the grab on wake up, so there flat kick, just do it. Yeah, after that string, you just mm -hmm. did it. I, I think it's a good choice. Now you saw there what cost Curtis the match, and I'm as guilty of it as anybody, is sidestepping and then going for a throw. If you have sidestep but there are still buttons being pressed by the opponent, you're just going to get caught by whatever's next because you've eliminated the advantage of sidestep by pressing buttons to announce your location. Ooh, here comes the wall combo. Oh, you can see with angling for the flip kick. Jabbed out of it. Lucky for Curtis. There it is. That's both it out. That's 1-1. One, one. Yeah. About that side step in the throw, I know that like a pattern of Curtis's in a lot of games, like KOS, and I've seen him doing it in Persona too, is doing a roll into the throw. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just his natural response after an evade is to try to grab the guy. It makes sense. But if you have done a successful evade, you really want to throw buttons out, because even a jab will stagger them, keep them on sidewalk, and then there you go, exactly like that. Yeah, you're going to get advantage Create on Create some side panic side. situations as well, mentally. Oh, oh, you definitely need to sidestep that maneuver, because if he charges it up to full, it will stagger you. Well. But, you know, why not just keep trying to hit it? Doesn't go for the third one, instead walks up and snaps his neck, and that's a round one. Yeah, you kind of ran a train off him Crick. after that first land <laughs> with the sidekick. Okay, attempted axe kicks there. You can see that's a full circular move, which means side steps are not going to work against it. It'll actually right. count for counter damage. Do you think it's a decent combo? Ooh, trips him underneath the fast. It's a very tricky punch, that one. Backs off when I get up, I think. Mm -hmm. Ooh, caught nice. him, get caught him coming in. Was perhaps angling for the forward jump into the step. Oh, there it is, hoping for 2P. Oh. Curtis not falling for that. Yeah. Breaks the leg. From the Sabaki strain to a somersault. <laughs> but Curtis is acting smart. Okay, there's an elbow attempt. Oh, he's got the arm. That's a three-pronged throw attack. A lot of characters have that now, where once they've landed the successful grab, the initial catch throw is unblockable, but then there will be a medium, uh, so rather neutral, forward or back throw from there, and you get one guess on which one to break, like there. Oh, she didn't just take the throw. It's <laughs> kind of a rare thing. There's this. 
Uh, Rain borrowed it. I think Rain borrowed it. 2 1 now for Curtis. Curtis looking good so far. Tries to bait out any opening attacks with that elbow, which will crush them and give him a full combo off of the ground bounce. Oh. That step is one of Vanessa's primary moves because she can use it to use a crumpling punch or a spear, which will then give her three throw options. Mm. <laughs> Ill-timed throw on his... Yeah, there, Jason gets the throw. Recovery roll and oh, just walk right into it. Yeah, he evades a sweep with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the sweep would hit anyway, but it, that was the right idea. Mm -hmm. There is plenty of time to react to her going backwards like that, so unless she cancels it back there, no matter what she does, whether she cancels the kick after the forward dash or not, she's still extremely punishable. Ah. So you can clear out beyond the kick range. There goes out of the ring, if he doesn't die first. And match point now for Curtis. You can see that's the cancel of the chargeable kick. Yep. Ooh. Mm, you didn't get that second up kick out. Mm hmm I know he likes going for that, just to, as some kind of frame trap. Oh, there we go. There's a sweep underneath. Fighting for his tournament life there. Almost gets the flamingo set up, but a couple of quick jabs undoes it. And there we have yeah. it. Okay, I better get over there. Right, good luck. All right, I guess this is the grand finals then. Oh, I'm sorry, just because this take jab into his biggest damage throw. That's where you want to start it. Alright, get a big frame advantage off of that back fist, I think. Oh, avoid the high with the, the drop kick and manage to get the OTG, or the down attack for the round. That was a low grab, I'm pretty sure. Well, for one of the three or so characters in the game with down grab. It gets a low attack again. I think his missed his ground tech. Okay, he gets, gets right off the chain grab. Oh, I keep seeing those down attacks. And Curtis gets the back step into the crumple. Oh, James is happy with taking that round. He's in a bad spot there. Alright, gets it wrong. Gets a big combo. Well, not that big. Oh, I know. Oh, don't... <laughs> he just lifted that drop kick and got, like, a pounce attack. I think it's more of a joke than anything, but James thought it was funny. Oh, besides that, the drop kick. And I guess since he's down, he doesn't really get a big punish off of it. But he still has the advantage. Knocks him down, he's in the corner. Oh, yeah, he matched. <laughs> Just eats him out over the corner. Seven. 
Alright, I was doing my best, but now somebody knows something about this game, I assume. Alright. Oh, nice uh, transition there by Curtis, but oh, it gets the right. uh, James gets the, uh, gets the right throw break. Oh, he's charging out there. Just yeah, get he's, him out of it. he's trying to get him into minus uh, minus frames there to set up his Wolf 50-50s. Does a charge. Great start of the round. One of his favorites. Yeah, he definitely likes to go for that uh, big charge at the start. But now, just a matter of setting up his snow game, and he sets him out for the ring out. Wow, just tossed him. <laughs> Alright, tries to catch him on the side. Wolf is one of those characters that really can get you in the stagger and sets up for those jab, for many of those jab throw setups. He's oh very man. annoying for that, but now Curtis is scumming him out with yeah. a low stand. I was thinking he's been kind of oh. lenient with that in his rounds, but now he's starting to use it. And James is bringing it back. He's <laughs> he's stopping his, Curtis's momentum with just uh, timely jabs. Ooh, Chris catches him, but doesn't get, doesn't complete the combo. Oh, jab right. pick. Oh. Uh, all right. Is he going to? Oh, he didn't complete the combo properly, but he gets the jab, gets the win. Yeah, it's kind of hard to commentate this game just because it's just like so much double so stuff is sometimes happening at once, and not only that. Uh, James sometimes does some random stuff at times too. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. <laughs> Just nice, a crumple. Yeah. Nice setup by um. Nice setup by Curtis there, but now James is definitely trying to stop that momentum with the with the down punch, but. Now Curtis is just completely just going in on him and gets the mounted throw. Yeah, it was a pretty dominating round. Yeah, it was a dominant round from Curtis there. He just seems seems like he's not trying to give James any time to think or set up any of that uh any of his throw mix ups or anything like that. But James gets a knockdown. What's he gonna do there? He's gonna do the running throw. I guess it's right. He's or wrong rather. Really. Yeah. <laughs> well it depends on the perspective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drop oh. kick. A lot of the times, James seems to go for most of those unsafe moves, but he definitely gets the right read. <laughs> oh, that's James Howard yeah. in a nutshell. Yeah, but um, oh, now Curtis is definitely trying to scum him out with that low zant. Gets the stunner. Does not do the correct <laughs> correct Oki on that, but um, now Curtis is trying to stop the momentum, but James is just jabbing, jabbing him, stopping him, trying to set up some sort of throw setup, but... Oh, no, it's Curtis gets the throw. Curtis gets the throw. That was just a series of strikes that didn't really lead anywhere until finally Curtis got the finally got the advantage to get the throw. Is that a low grab? Um, I believe no, I believe that's still a standing grab. Oh. But um Oh he almost knocked him out. He's oh. trying to do a drop kick to knock him out. One thing that this stage has is definitely a ring out, but uh Curtis was not able to position himself to try and ring him out. Down to the final round. Nice throw. Gets the knockdown. What's Curtis gonna do with this? Oh, he baits out, baits out his wake up, but it just wasn't fast enough. Oh, James tries to go for a grab. That's very unsafe, but Curtis gets get the get the punish, but he does get the win anyway. Yeah, second game for Curtis. Okay, so it's gonna two one, I think. So it's two one now. Yeah. Um, so Curtis, if Curtis wins the next one, he resets it. And uh huh. Okay. Yeah, Kurt, uh, James won the last game between them, 3-0, I think. Yeah. Went a lot better for Curtis this time. Well, it's kind of interesting. It's, 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 kind, of, it's kind of good that uh, Curtis is getting a bunch of money because it seems like James was uh, kind of dominating the scene on Wolf with his very... Uh, it's 2-1. Curtis. All right. Yeah, but as I was saying, uh, James has been dominating the scene for quite a bit with his very, very... <laughs> Unpredictable wolf play, but uh, it seems like Curtis has finally gotten a lock on it, and he's definitely just—he's definitely just not giving James any room to breathe or any room to set up any of the any of his any of his positive frame moves. Yeah, I know he's sidestepping a lot of those yeah. like moves that would cause a stagger to let yeah. him get his pick grounds, but he gets it that time. Yeah. Gets a shoulder tackle, trying to bait the wake up, doesn't get it. Nice knockdown. He baits the wake up, but doesn't punish it accordingly. 
Oh, nice move by Curtis, but what's Curtis going to do now? That ah, shoulder tackle. Yeah. That's his, that's his go-to for... Yeah, he rolled to the back and the, uh, kept the distance, so I would have expected something like that from him. Yeah, yeah, oh. and, and that's something he likes to do. He tries to set up some of those heavy chops in order to, in order to try and set up his throw game. Gets the throw. What's he going to do with this? Drop kick. That's not uh, uh, easy to do that, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I'm not too sure what he was planning to plan to do that. I think he was thinking that he was just going to wake up immediately and just try to rush back at him. But I think Curtis has finally caught on to the fact that uh, he's just trying to he's just trying to catch Curtis unawares. But the problem is that Curtis is being a lot more patient this time around. But right now, it just seems like he's running away with this, and James ties it up too, too. I think he got hit by every single tackle in those games. So I think yeah. he's got to be more careful with what's that distance. Yeah. Curtis. Curtis. All right, nice throw. Gets the back throw, sets up the combo. Oh, I don't know why he was going to do heavy job. He's always expecting them to try and quick get up, but that's not always going to be the case. A lot of people just play autopilot that yeah. get up, but yeah. yeah, it seems like he's really trying to just autopilot this thing right now, and he's paying for it. <laughs> Kicks him right through the fence. Yeah. He's not gonna be there next round. Shoulder tackle. No, oh, never no. fails. He, oh he no! Gets throw, no oh, he, he could have gotten it. That almost worked against him. Yeah. You can tell that he was like gonna go for the ring of rave when it started yeah. with the shoulder tackle. Yeah, I think I think he should have um, tried to do another hit in that string there. Gets a chop. Oh, yeah. gets the shoulder tackle again to knock him out. Yeah, it's really at Curtis' disadvantage right now yeah. to have his back to that open wall. Yeah. He's really got to watch out for those shoulder tackles now more yeah. than ever. Gets the drop kick. Oh, he's really got to punish. I, oh, nice. He switches sides, gets the throw, gets the damage. Nice, he get All right, so this is the round that decides it whether James takes the tournament or Curtis resets it. Very well done by Curtis, but he crowds him on a oh, wake-up wow. and gets punished for it. Nice throw by Curtis. James recovers. Gets a giant swing. Oh, this could nice. be a problem. Oh, okay. okay. Didn't send him towards the open. Oh, man, he's trying to go for those grand moves, and it's just not working out for him. But he gets the grounded damage. Oh, oh, this is going to be, be it, eh? Oh, yeah. that takes it. James Howard takes James it again. James Howard takes it. I think that wall really, that wall being gone really helped James Howard in that case. Yeah, he and lost a few easy rounds just yeah. like that. Uh, I'm probably